Hoo hoo, my dear readers. I'm currently writing the duel scene between Tigressa Flamante and Flowing Flowers or Auntie Flo. And I want to show you how I do the calculations for fights like this. So the fight has just started. Ressa made her first move. She, she activated stealth and did a diving roll and initiated aim shot. So we've got three actions on her part and she didn't see all the actions the granny took. So let's go to the sheet where I keep track of all the actions. Here we have the main players, that's Ressa, Ahankatur, Herr Tiger, Flora and the Octopussy. Then there are four trap turrets and the trap toaster. I don't know if I have to do them in detail. I wrote them there, so all right. Then I noted Flora's buffs before in the PvP enter room. She cast a tinker on the octopusy and Tauma Turchi on herself. Tinker had, mm, I don't know yet what effect uh, Tinker has. I think maybe, uh, okay, what effect did Tauma Turchi has? Let's make it easy, more mana racking and higher resistance against Oh, let's, let's just say that her uh, resistance and affinity for faith gets buffed a bit. Nothing which will be important for this fight. <laughs> and Tinker, yeah, we'll see. Then she has a water shield as well that holds 25 seconds. So the first thing is we have to write all the HP of the players, of the main players, and their armor. I've got physical armor and magical armor, but that's too complicated for me to calculate. So I've decided for this fight I use a uh, average of both. So Flora, we've got a high physical defense because of the mech suit and a normal magical defense and it's around 44 OV in sum. And her HP is, oh the HP of the mech suit, okay. I should integrate this as well, but I integrated in the formula. Her HP is 310. Okay, Ressa. She got a health pull of 180. And defense. Let's be generous and make it 80 as well. Yeah, she probably has some light armor and on her, so yeah, we can make it 20. Ancreture. Health 330 and defense, oh, that doesn't look good for him, 11. <laughs> and the octopusy has him owned, yeah. We've got a health of 336 and 12. So I added the first actions. The actions for Ressa are described in the story. That's the stealth, the dive roll, the aiming. Ayan Katir, he sprints towards the octopusy. Flora sprints towards Ressa, sees that she gets stealth and casts astral vision. The octopusy shoots at Ahon and the ivoryed turrets. <laughs> and the turrets shoot at Ayan Katir. The trap toaster throws a trap into Ahon's path. Now let's see what kind of damage Ahon is eating. Octopusy. 
of course it activates rapid fire and around is around yeah one to two seconds long that's my author leeway <laughs> to make it a bit shorter or a bit longer like i i like so let's see in this case he um, the octopusy gets off three shots one for 38 one for 35 and one for 37 Good job, Aito. Three times. Oh, I tried. Three times above average. The two rods get off one shot each. Ressa gets no damage. Um, Katia <laughs> loses half of his in the first round. Ooh, not a good job. Flora gets no damage. And the octopusy is fine as well. Next round, we've got Ressa's dive roll. Flora fires her rockets. Because Ressa is diving at the moment. Yeah. I don't believe she is in spell range yet. She can see her because of astral vision. Yeah, I think she will just do it. And her aiming isn't good. <laughs> so whether she hits her is, is another question. But uh, maybe she's lucky and she will hit her. The octopusy is still on speed and shoots at Aaron again. And Aaron Cartier is still sprinting. So Flora and Ressa are around 20 meters from each other. I would say 20 meters, four seconds max. So Flora and Aaron cross path in this round or latest in the next round. Let's look what kind of damage the octopusy produces. So the first round was pretty long. So I would say that the turrets have another chance. Their cooldown is two seconds. So they have another chance to shoot. Oh, this is looking bad for Arn. I didn't want to kill him off that soon. <laughs> yeah, the turrets aren't making a good job. Good for him. <laughs> he got two HP left. Oh, poor, poor Arn Cutter. I have to change this. They are making too much damage. Maybe the octopusy isn't activating rapid fire so soon. Yeah, that would change it. Alright, first round, shoot at Aaron Couture. A normal shoot. I made it a high shot, but a normal shot. This is looking better for the tiger. But not for long, because the octopusy has rapid fire active. Next round. Ahem Couture walks into a trap, the trap thrown by the trap toaster. Flora taps on the rocket launcher and explodes the rockets and she activates simultaneously riding the wave and riding past Ahem Couture splashing him. The octopusy is still rapid firing away. So Ressa is going to get her first damage from a rocket that explodes near her, let's say near her, in her general direction. So the rocket makes a bit of, hmm, it's not really piercing damage, but it scales with dexterity. So really let it on the piercing damage and a bit of elemental damage from the explosion. 
Flora uses no skill with it because she uses a skill riding the wave. That makes... This is the multiplier for skill damage, so we have to take this damage. Rapid fire at Arm Couture and I don't have to calculate this because it's around 90 and he only has 75 left. And then the turrets shoot again, he's deader than that and he walked into a trap. He's that kind of dead that Germans can't pronounce. <laughs> Oh, erase this. Next round. The turrets are a bit slow on the uptake. They shot the still dead Aaron. But now they shoot Ressa. The trap toaster is preparing the next trap. Flora rides towards Ressa. She is in spell range now. Now I can decide whether she meets Ressa now or whether she shoots a spell first. But I believe she had to be really, really near because 6 seconds for 25 meters is plenty, especially if you are as fast as Flora. So I guess she's there now. Okay, she has to reorient herself two times one time because of the dive roll and the second time because the explosion rattled Reza. So 6 seconds for 25 meters isn't that atrocious because it isn't a straight line but she had to do some adjusting. Nonetheless, she arrives. So Reza is still lying down has her rifle in the hand. The aimed shot takes three seconds. Two seconds dive roll. Four. Putting her rifle in front of her, aiming. I don't believe she can fire the shot now. Maybe she could have if Flora hadn't punched her. <laughs> okay, why should Flora punch her when she's lying on the... Let's kick her in the head. Ooh, that will be some nice damage, because Flora's new mech suit has the legs emphasized. I'm excited to know how much it will be. I definitely will give her a bonus, because she doesn't kick from standing, she kicks from sprinting, so that's worth a huge bonus. And the mech suit is especially good for kicks. Does she get a bonus because of her mech operator class? Let's uh, look this up. No. Oh, I should have added this as active bonus. But I totally feel justified to give her the increase because of the speed she has. So, yeah, let's make it 85. Then our sweet little octopusy is uh, firing at Rasa. Rapid fire goes for 5 seconds, so he just has 2 shots left of it. Then, of course, the traps, uh, the true traps. <laughs> That would be another form times around 20. Uh, and we've got a very, very dead wrestler. Mm. Looks like a solid first round. <laughs> Not much exciting. Flora's just steamrolls wrestler. Because you're watching this, I assume you're interested in stats, so I show you now the stats of all the main players. So we've got Flora in her mech suit. Um, these are Flora stats, and the mech suit enhances uh, her power, but it lowers her macro control and micro control. It has no influence on the magical, on her magical abilities, but 
the metal handicap which doesn't play a role in this fight because Flora only uh, does riding uh, the wave and she got plenty of metal affinity to do this and she splashes the dead or in the process of being killed Ahon Katul and splashes a bit on Ressa as well when she arrives but she arrives in this round and Ressa is more than that with the damage she gets so it doesn't play a role then the Vigo it has here the added parts but you can disregard this because it only counts the value of the the OP value of the max suit itself for its HP and the def defense is added to Flora's defense so um, defense and power are the only two stats positively influenced by the max suit and negatively influenced macro control and micro control there are max suits who influence um, perception as well of course negatively next octopusy so these are the stats of the octopusy it has no magical stats because it's a robot <laughs> and no regeneration because of the same reason the stats look they don't look like much okay because they are standardized for robots and the system don't know how awesome the octopusy is because he gets controlled by Aito Shuri. So there are bonuses to skills if you shoot, if you do headshots or so. But I haven't integrated this into the formulas. What is relevant is the difficulty. Difficulty means how much mana uh, you invest. Flora invested 28 mana into the octopusy. So let's compare it. If she only invests the minimum, you see that the values go down quite a bit. And you can also see if the level goes up, the octopusy will get better in a really deep curve compared with the max suit. The max suit is dependent on the OV of the max suit ability and the OV of the level of the max suit. The level of the max suit is um, its tier 1 so the level goes from 0 or from 1 to level 25 and as S rated it's got the maximum level of 25 this makes it an OV of 15 so this is the level of the max suit the sum is the average between those two next are the turrets they have 8 generators in them plus one mana from flora this makes nine you yeah. robots as well so no regeneration and they've got uh, the same lasers than the octopusy this is the damage for all four of the barrels one barrel has a uh, base damage of three uh, peers and one elemental and that's with laser slide. Next we got uh, Tigressa. Her level 1 stats aren't that impressive. She trained a bit her physical stats and uh, she trained her mana regeneration. Her equipment focuses on mana regeneration. Nearly all of it she puts into Aham Couture and a bit in her guns. The mods are from completing achievements, so she's got a few on level 1. Maybe I was too gracious with that. It's highly un unrealistic that she did that many scenarios. That lowers her health as well, but yeah, she's more than that. So, um, 
and of course it lowers her um, defense but it doesn't matter because I thumb ruled her armor so uh, maybe I should have given her more armor okay Aaron Katur he has a difficulty of three because Ressa put 30 mana in him and his highest stat is physical power and he've got he's got a good chunk of HP yeah his normal attack is for crushing and a skill he deals fire damage so if he would make damage he would make yeah, around the same actually less than the octopusy around the same as the octopusy uh, because the octopus here has a really good loadout with the four lasers. Maybe a bit too good. Yeah, better. I've got no stats for the trap toaster because, yeah. <laughs> it should look close to... No, not really. Let's see how much mana I got him. He has uh, four generators. Four mana. I mean, it's nearly overpowered. One mana should be enough that he got five. So get, she, he got 0 0.8. Okay, he gets a bit more life through this. So yeah, maybe four is okay. So between 70 and 90 life. Because I use the sheet for the turrets now. And they have no bonus in Vigo. But the trap toaster definitely has because he's just a chunk of metal I mean <laughs> if this kind of device hasn't a huge HP pool for its tier and category and rating then what else has you can't destroy it maybe you can break the spikes a bit but that uh, doesn't make the toast burned Alright, uh, thank you for listening and please leave uh, comments, especially how you liked the fight in the story and what you think about my method of half calculating and half bending the rules to my will. <laughs> bye bye!